Lastly, mention must here be made of the Chimera. This is a name given by the Greek poet Homer to a beast so strangely and fantastically formed that we now use the word Chimera to stand for any wild and fanciful scheme of the imagination. The Homeric description of the creature is that of a fire-breathing monster with a goat's body, a lion's head and a dragon's tail. To imagine a beast so composed is almost as bad as having a waking nightmare. Again, in Egyptian mythology, we find the same idea persisting of a dragon used as the emblem of darkness and a delivering hero as the symbol of light, where it is taught that Horus, son of the goddess Isis, slew a great dragon of evil. Always is there the same moral purpose, to teach the triumph of good over evil. It is worthy of note that the Egyptian god Horus is frequently represented on horseback, piercing a crocodile with his lance, just as we see in the familiar design St George attacking the dragon from a more or less precarious seat on the back of a prancing charger.